yes. So, people have been asking me to weigh in on the uh, whole Russell Brand fiasco. So, for those of you who don't know, Russell Brand is an English comedian, very funny chap actually, and he's been accused of uh, lewd misconduct, shall we say, and Russell has had a uh, colorful past to say the least, uh, been a recovering drug and sex addict. However, firstly, let me make my allegiance clear here. I stand with the brand, I don't believe a damn word of any of this, this thing reeks with the stench of hit piece from a million miles off. Far as the accusations go, I don't give a rat's bollocks, legal is not my area of expertise, so I shall defer to lawyers whom I trust, in this case Viva Fry and Robert Barnes. And even Robert Barnes said, there's no criminal case here, what you have are just a series of allegations. Which is pretty much the reason why I'm not believing a damn word here. I'm a metalhead, I have male genitals and I run on pattern recognition. And as such, how many times must we see the same trick being played out over and over again before we go, I feel like I've seen this one before. But the allegations, there's a whole bunch of reasons why I'm rolling my eyes at this. For one, the allegations are contained to the years of 06 to 13. So at least 10 years ago, which means you're not going to have any evidence. Court of public opinion it is, and when you have this on the front page of every damn news outlet, yeah, the message is not exactly subtle. Notice the word accused is on every one of them except the sun, which has allegations with the massive title on the front. Again, not exactly subtle. Now, given those years, it is odd to me that Channel 4 is responsible for doing this dispatch investigations, given that I know Russell Brand because he was on Channel 4 during those years. Many of my English subs will know this. He was on Big Fat Quiz of the Year during those years. One of them had on him Noel Fielding, Jonathan Ross, and Lily Allen. And Lily Allen was sitting next to them, and Jonathan Ross swapped seats with her, claiming the place seated her next to two of the best-known coxmen in the business. And so, and I quote, Lily can go home with her dress still on. The irony for Noel then to turn and say, how dare you, we're not rapists. As a matter of fact, when I typed in Russell's name along with Big Fat Quiz of the Year, because I wanted to know the year, get it right, 07 by the way, that bit is freaking featured in Express. Great minds think alike, I suppose, but come on, it's a comedy bit. Previous year when David Walliams was on, he said Russell is a West Ham United supporter and when the crowd boos, he says, please, this is a happy occasion. Let's look beyond the division of football teams and look at the unifying force within us all, sex. So this was not exactly hidden for heaven's sakes. So it's a bit rich for Channel 4 to come out and pull this BS. Oh, how dare you like this person you first discovered whilst we featured them on our network. And if you're wondering, wait, 06, that's 17 years ago. How the hell do you remember that, Spoon? Because I have a golden freaking memory, people. This is what happens when you don't spend your 20s in a stoned and drunken daze. You actually remember things. Things you might need to put in a YouTube video 17 years later. Now, I'm under the impression if you're inside the belly of the beast, you can behave like one with pretty much damn near complete impunity. Hollywood is a cesspool of known depravity. Voices like Mel Gibson, Elijah Wood, and James Woods have alluded to this. As a matter of fact, I often think the only way you ever get into that field is if you do something insane or they will get some blackmail material on you and so you can forever be kept under wraps and never worry about you upsetting the status quo. I mean, for heaven's sakes, if the man never got anything credible to hurdle at him during his cock-slinging zenith, why on earth would there be any credible allegations now over 10 years later? Like Barnes said, there's nothing there that amounts to any criminal case, it's bollocks. There was a text that was making the rounds in the Times from a one Nadia, not her real name obviously. How do we know the text is real? Well, we don't. Only that the US phone number that Brand used to send the messages has been verified by multiple sources. And on the original text, there's missing timestamps and it's clipped, so it does kind of look sus to say the least. But Barnes himself points to the fact that the text says, I prime myself on being safe and making the right decisions. Obviously, this was a bad one. I'm so disappointed. I think she meant to say pride, not pry. <sighs> you can always tell a quality lass when she writes you with the letter instead of the word, but anyway. Not to mention, if you look at the Times article here, oh look, we have a list of totally not misappropriated quotes from Russell's own book that was definitely not deliberately chosen to sow doubt in the readers' minds and add a sense of credibility to these allegations where there are none. See, in this day and age, whenever this BS gets pulled, two things you should always ask about and keep in mind. The timing, and known affiliations. Because you may as well ask, what's their politics like? Well, they're massively skeptical of the okay hit piece, got it. Because I know Russell, I follow him on Rumble. And he's built quite the following speaking about uh, some rather spicy topics, like being outspoken against a certain Mr. Gates or uh, 
remedies, shall we say, or a certain pipeline that went kaboom boom that was definitely not blown up by the United States. No, it was totally Russia, said no one fucking sane ever. If it wasn't obvious by now, I'm calling bollocks. Cheers for watching and once again, I apologize for nothing. <laughs>